These are things that you should not do when you're doing organization with ADHD. One, do not put things you need to use frequently behind something else because with ADHD is out of sight and out of mind. And what that means, if you do put something behind something else, you may forget that it's there. And it may only take a few seconds for this to happen. You may look back and say, well, I thought that was there. And then you don't realize that it's behind something else. And now you've lost it. And now you're trying to figure out, okay, where did that thing go? Is it behind here? Is it in the other room? And when you have ADHD, you already have a tendency to lose things more than the average person. And that means make sure that you can see whatever you want to use, especially if you use it frequently. And also make sure you have easy access to it. So you don't have to reach behind some to actually go and get it. Avoid putting things in random spots because you want to know where something is. And maybe you put it somewhere and you have no idea in the area that it's in. And you're trying to find it and now you've lost it. And so you want to put it in some place that actually makes sense, at least makes sense to you. So you remember exactly where it is. And you might even have other things that relate to that thing as you put them all in that area. And now you know where all those things are. So you don't want to just put it in any place around your house or apartment. If you're thinking about throwing something away, you know where it is so that you can go get it and then throw it away. Avoid thinking that you can do everything at once. You don't have to do everything at once. If you have a whole house, a whole apartment to clean, you can take your time. You can take multiple days. You can take multiple sessions. Can't finish it right now, but I can come back and finish it later. You just want to figure out, okay, what do I need to do today? And what can I do for the rest of the week? But you don't want to look at it and say, I want to do this whole complete house today or a whole complete apartment today because that is a big task. And we have ADHD. It's a lot about overwhelm and trying to figure out, okay, can I do this task? This big task in front of me. Do I want to be able to do that task right now? Or do I want to go and do something else right now? Because this task is going to take a really long time. And so that can be an issue when you're trying to clean your whole house or apartment. But if you break it down, now you've broken it down to a more manageable size and you might be able to complete that activity because now you're not looking at the whole task. You're just looking at part of that task and then you go through and complete that part. Avoid buying every organizer that you see. Resist the temptation. You may have 20 different organizers that you bought and none of them have worked out for you. So why are you going to buy another one? Just take a little bit of time and decide, is this the right organizer for me? Do I really need it? Is it something different than what I had before? And then how am I going to actually use it? Does it have all the things I actually need to use in the organizer? You want to take that time and at least research it a little bit other than just buying it. And then it ends up in a place where the other 20 are. And now you have one additional. Now you have 21 that you aren't going to use. So you want to make sure that it is the right one for you. And don't do the whole FOMO thing where you're like, I must have it. It's new. It's shiny. Bring it to me. I'm going to pay for it. And I get in the mail and you realize you just don't need it at all. And so you don't want to do that because with ADHD, it is about impulsivity a lot of the times. And a lot of times you make decisions just based on impulse, just based on FOMO, just based on I want it because it's new. And that may not be the right decision for you. Do not make the mistake and think you are going to remember where everything is in your house or apartment. You just won't. Even people without ADHD need some sort of list or reminder to tell them where certain things are. They're going to be trying to remember things and they can't. So when you have ADHD, it's going to be even harder to do that. So you need some sort of labels, sticky notes, something that you can see that reminds you this thing is there or this thing is in a certain place or this is what that section is. When you have ADHD, you have a tendency to forget things. And then you're trying to recall everything in your house or apartment to your mind so that you can remember where things are. It's going to be very hard to do. And so if you don't, what's going to happen is that you lose things and you're going to be looking for them and you're not going to remember where they are. And then that situation goes into, OK, I have no idea. Now you're searching for it and searching for it and searching for it. And so you just don't want to have to go through that situation. So have some way, some reminder to tell you where things are or at least to prompt you in the right direction. Avoid trying to use super complicated organization systems. You have this awesome organization system. It's got 70 steps to it. And then on top of that, it's got three sub steps for every 70 step that you have. And so now you're looking at, boy, this would be great if I could go through and get this all set up. 
but then you're looking at 210 different steps to get there it's overly complicated to you and so now what you have to do is figure out okay can i do this it would be awesome if i could do this but it's just so much to do or you find something a little bit simpler or maybe a lot simpler in that case that you can use that's going to be better for you just don't buy all the different organization systems until you figure out are they the right one for you can i do this is it overwhelming is it simple enough do i understand it all those things need to be taken into account and so if you do get the super complicated organization system it's not going to be a good time you might get overwhelmed by it it's just not going to be easy to complete you may not even get through it at the point in time because with adhd sometimes you go through something get disinterested in it or just get demotivated in it because it's so hard so much to do and you know there has to be an easier way to do it or you figure out your own way because you're outside the box thinking but try to figure out what organization system works for you and for each person it's probably going to be different but you know what your needs are and so try to find one that fits within your needs and just make sure that you don't buy the first one like oh this is a cool organization system I want to do it. It's been awesome. It's been reviewed by all these people and it works for them, but it may not work for you. Find the one that works for you. Avoid being stuck in the mindset that the way you organize has to agree with everybody else, has to make sense with every other person. It doesn't. It's your way that you organize. Make it make sense to you. If you decide that you want to have two separate bookcases in there and they're not full and people ask you why, you have important books in one and not so important books in the other. And to you, that makes sense because of the fact that you know exactly where those two kinds of books are. They're nowhere near each other. You know, in this bookcase is one and in this bookcase is the other type. And that may not make a whole lot of sense to other people, but it makes sense to you. And that's what's important because you're going to be the one living in your house or apartment 24 seven. And so everything needs to be catered to you figure out how you want to design things how you want to put things together that makes sense that you can use that doesn't hinder you in any way because you can look at it and automatically know i know exactly what's there i know exactly what's here i put this over here because i always use it at this time and in this instance and yeah it's kind of out of place of everything else but it works for me because i know exactly why it's there and i put it there the worst thing is that somebody comes into your house or apartment and then says, well, this doesn't make sense. Why is this here? That doesn't make sense. Why is this here? And they kind of change it around. And then you're all kind of messed up because you had your organization system in place for you. And now they've kind of just messed things up because they think that this way is better. And that may be the way a lot of people do it. But it's about you and what you want to do in your house or apartment and what works for you. So be okay that it doesn't work or it doesn't make sense to other people or whatever. Don't worry about that. Be yourself. Be creative. Now, this is only part of the process. I also have a video that tells you about 11 things that you should stop buying that are actually clutter. They're actually really clutter if you go and have these things in your house or apartment. So you can watch that video and it explains all that right here.